So we went to Botanical Gardens over the weekend, right? My son, he goes, Mom, there's so many W's here. I said, what is a W? He said, white people. I said, oh, yeah, there are. And then I look over at my daughter. She's got this huge afro. I mean, my daughter's hair is all the way down her back. And I already know how white people get around our hair. So I'm thinking to myself, if somebody try to pet my daughter, we're going to have us the issue. Child, we got through the whole night. By the end, we're at the gift shop. And lo and behold, we got a situation. A W comes to my daughter and she goes, oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. Look at this hair. And at that moment, I knew she was about to reach out her hand. So in my mind, I can tell her immediately, I, 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 please don't try. We do not pet our kids. Or I can give her an experience. So I decided to give this woman an opportunity to fill an afro. And she said, wow, I said, it's soft, isn't it? She said, yes, what do you do to it? So I gave her more understanding. I use hair lotion, leave-in conditioner, and oil. And I do a damn good job. And I also did not code switch. I spoke as me because I wanted to give my kids an experience. You don't have to act different because they look different or because you hear from your grandma that they can't be trusted and how dare that white devil, blah, blah, blah. You are a king everywhere. I don't care who's around. You ain't got to make nobody feel comfortable around your energy. And I also wanted the woman to see just how strong and confident my baby girl was. Gabby ain't even say thank you. Gabby said, I know. And then really tried to move away from her as she does with everybody. Gabby is <laughs> so confident in who she is. She don't need nobody. Listen, 